Today, we have something a little bit different. Tegan is going to finish spraying down the coating on the frame and then hopefully we'll get to cleaning it off and getting it ready to be primered. But I have another cab, another toy that we are gonna go pick up later this week if everything goes right. So I need to fix the trailer. We have this awesome trailer, but we have no winch on it. It's a nice tilt deck and I got to do something I, I dread doing and that is welding onto a brand new trailer. It's just so beautiful and the paint's so nice. Oh, and by the way, this is Zach. Oh, let's see if I can. This is Zach. I have to stand up here to make him feel short because he's a little taller than me. <laughs> This is a metal cutting skill saw. Ah, boy. Yep, so it's slow and steady, but it'll cut it like butter and clean. So we want to put a two by four underneath it. All right, and then you want earplugs, all right, and definitely safety glasses. How many clamps are we going to use? Well, we're gonna need... See if this will pull it down to tear. This side's good, but yeah, in the middle. How does that look? It closed the gap, but... Looks better. Close better. enough for what we're doing. Yeah. How much welding have you done? Uh, 3G certified. You're certified? Yeah. Sweet. Pass the cert test. All right then, well, that's more than I have. I'm self-taught. Are you? <laughs> I'll see your welding. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. July. Zach, it's like the 4th of July. I'm gonna put the nuts back in. Let's see how well I did with my alignment. Oh, well, three are in. Let's see if four goes in. These are like okay for the moment. Five inch bolts. No. About a quarter inch longer. Yeah. 
I might do is have to put a little tack weld on each one mm. so that they because they don't have a lock washer in there. Just a tiny little tack to hold it in place. Or you could just weld them on. Like, I don't want to do that. Why? Because I gotta get this off one day to upgrade to a bigger winch. Hmm. Or you could just not upgrade to a bigger winch. Well, I like the 12,000 pounder on this. Well, this thing's actually already grounded to it. So now all we gotta do is really get this to it. But we'll go ahead and do two. We'll go ahead and do one to the to the structure, mm -hmm. and then we'll read and do this into here, clean that up, and this needs to be on here too. For this, and we can put that underneath here. Uh, Dad. What? What's this? This part releases for? the spool. It releases it so it can just go free. So it can oh. just free spool. So this will bolt onto pull here. It out. No, onto here. And this will come around into here to this. I think I'm just going to weld the D ring for now. Okay. Well, if you want to get that stuff, I'll weld the D ring. Okay. But I was thinking of doing one thing with the D ring first, though. Since it's all rusted up, I was thinking about blasting it first. Oh, that'd be so cool. Real quick. Sure. You want to? Ready. So look, check this out. Battery, winch, solar charger, lights. Okay. Built in reinforcement for a stash block. So that way we can pull over top of the tilt deck. All right. And then once we get it down, we can have the snatch block right there. Okay. And then finish pulling it up. Okay, we officially are winched. Now we're gonna find a safe place for this. We're gonna tape off the solar panel, and then oh, and by the way, yeah, they work. Oh, I cut you off, Greg Tegan. <laughs> so I just hooked up a quick switch right here. This is a separate system than the trailer. We will end up hooking the charge system for the battery for the brakes in through onto this so that it will charge with the truck as well. So that it'll have dual charging on it. I just need a safe place for this, which means it'll end up in my truck. Hi. I don't know who I'm talking to because I haven't heard you guys. So, just, hi. That's all I can really say because I'm bored right now. That's why I'm even talking to you. I'm crazy. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm tired.
gonna spray this down. I'm gonna spray this down with the computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna spray it down with the corrosion cure. That uh, because we've got all that bare metal, I need it done for the moment so that I can pick up this other truck this week. So we'll pull it apart and paint it probably at the same time we do the frame. I think we've decided on the color on the on the truck though. So hold with us. I'm going to order that this week. Hopefully we'll have it for next week. So thanks. All right, so this next truck, this is something we're going to try to pick up in the morning. If the deal falls through, who knows? Let's hope it doesn't, and we'll have it for a future build. As for the update on the Sasquatch, well, I've ordered the paint, and uh, the viewers had so many suggestions that I actually changed my mind on what I originally was going to paint it as. Now I'm curious, what are we going with? Tell me. Yeah, I need your input. I'm kind of curious what you all think I went with to make sure I made the right decision. So. Thank you for your suggestions.